Mimpy is a Steam video game featuring cranky complexion, brightening creativity that is both abstract and very waddling different in cradling parts. I can't say so much to blind the bottle into a bland settlement, but it gives art a fine degree and a hint of colorful glitter sequences. Controls are a coat of beauty prep trying to play a video game with no hard out tryout at all. Very comfy and directed to a beginner audience, but some may find it quite frustrating on the platforming parts. A gold flaky level design throughout, while exploring the white napping dogs, thoughts, and trippy delusions. Quite a contrast to most, and some may think the developer was smoking the good old grandpa pop chart as he's completely high when he comes up with the enemy creations that make both the player tattling confused in bell dropping situations and a stock of smartness that is unusual to a viewer's eye chess piece. The music is okay, it's an understated option that delivers a good atmospheric, seldom tune that cascades your shoulders and your leftover brain, but it never gives a breakage of a classic video game OST soundtrack. The abstract art is what makes this game a top roller in diced heaven while trapping yourself on top of a hell drive hill while demons poke all the absurd nonsense in your human skull like wavy drip drop mind. The only hairspray drawback and complaint I have, but it's just me, there's too many puzzles and sometimes you can get really sick and tired of the jumbling configurement in a lot of the stage like scenes. Other than that, it's just me or others that don't like Jaspreen puzzles, but I won't downgrade it because the whole game is hammering good. That's why. Sometimes it can be very a critical layer of satisfying beauty in a number scale of an artist. Others can just be quite frankly very detailed creepy in various parts of the game. It plays with your scholastic brain a lot, and it can make you feel dearranged in a lot of sections in the overall world. I love the character White Dampy Angel Puppy that gladly makes his head bob too much to the druggy crack world, lighting the way with his positivity to get out of the sloppy bunny Easter egg mess. You want replay value? You got it. They even have 10 special characters including Levin, which is Merry Christmas, Mimpy Dog Suit, that gives a splendid way to waste time but to really enjoy a hungry licking dog chow masterpiece. I really, 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 sorry for saying seven times really, but this game is a strolling made up classic that is short but gets to the classified point of giving your mind a battling eye view to something umbrella different. If you're looking for realism, it's not here. It's for people that want something they haven't seen before. I give all the props to whoever worked on this game, so I really, I give this game a 10 slash 10. Argue all you want in deciphering souls and chambered chain walls striking me that I was wrong, but this game deserves a 10 right away. You should play it if you want something flat out chip away creativity that is done right, and it's very balanced to be fun. This is definitely my top favorite Hunter games I've ever played, period, in the distant future. Love the Burrito Master.